Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to recolor this model in VTube Studio. Um, because I made this model, you're very welcome to recolor the actual physical textures if you're an artist. Um, I have a kind of a little bit of a tutorial on that uh, for my other model, my cutesy furry model. And then I'll just kind of throw that into this playlist as well. But just go through my channel and look for my other VTuber furry model playlist and you'll find it. Um, but I made this one in gray so that it's super easy to recolor. Um, and so what you'll need to do is you'll need to double click to make sure you get that menu back open. This one. Click the gear icon. And then here, you're going to choose Customize Model. Um, and under this, you're going to pick Customize Multiply slash Screen Color for Art Meshes. Uh, please do keep in mind, um, I allow people to edit my models this way, but not every artist wants people to do this. So when, you, when you're thinking of buying a model, check and see if they have it if they say that you can or can't recolor them this way it when in doubt please just ask um i encourage people to do it with my models because my goal is to try to make affordable slightly customizable models for people that can't afford a full commission um but anyways so here uh it will give you access to every single piece of art mesh and now you might be asking what is an art mesh um an art mesh is each piece of art that, can, that this model consists of. Um, and let me open a picture of that. So for these models, um, I draw my models in a ton of different pieces. That's the way that each part can kind of move individually. Um, so here you can see this is like the head outline. Here's the head base color. Here's like the white gradient of the cheek. Here's the darkest color on the top of the head, the medium, the lighter one, the, the top of the nose, like muzzle gradient, the actual nose itself, the nose outline, etc. Um, each piece is considered an art mesh. Um, so each of these things, like if I click the head base color, so let me try to like explain. A model is made up of art meshes i.e. the different parts that are glowing red when I hover over them. Um, and you can, using this, click around on the model to try and figure out, okay, which part am I clicking on? Right now I'm clicking on the head base color, but it's not turning red like this is. Um, so you might not be super sure. It's because the headline and the head base color are, like, the art meshes are overlapping so similarly that it's hard to tell. It's a bunch of technical stuff. Um, I'm happy to explain it if anybody wants me to actually go into the technical back end part. Um, but for the sake of simplicity, you want to change head base color, click this eyeball. That is head base color. You want to change headline art, click this eyeball. The darker the darker things can't really blink as easily, which is why I made this model in so many light colors. Like I'm trying to click the head outline, but it's not blinking at all. Um, but head base color. So. We, let's change the head base color. How to do that is turn it on. And then you get to specify what color you want. Let's do, I don't know, let's just do, let's make like, no, I don't want to make a gray hamster. That's boring. And I already made a yellow one. Let's do green. Okay. So you can also, if you want this green to be on other parts of the model, you can copy paste this to your clipboard. Um, and so this is multiply, which is just kind of like overlaying a color darkly onto the default color, which is a light gray. I'm going to hit OK. And let's say you want it to be like a brighter green than what this is. Using screen, screen can kind of help blast colors out. Um, it can change the hue, the val like the value, the saturation, the hue. You can get colors all mixy wixy up in here. Um, I'll just kind of leave it like that. Um, and let's see. So we've got our head base color. Now, because I've just changed the color of the head base, the values that I just applied here, both multiply and screen, are kind of held in an invisible, invisible little box. And so when I click this next body part here, we're going to do the body base color. When I turn this on, I can click paste the last multiply color and then hit paste the last screen color and then those colors are exactly the same. Or you can just copy the hex code. 
Um, and so we can do that with all the parts if you want. So we can do the mu head muzzle top color. So this is the muzzle top. Uh, turn that on, and I can just hit paste, paste. Um, but let's say either I wanted a different color, so let me just change the color to like something else. So let's make it, I don't know, this blue. This blue is fine. Um, but what if you don't want this piece of gradient on here? You can change the alpha here and just make that part invisible. So now that part is gone. I could probably also even do that to parts of the eye. Let's see. If I do the sclera, which is this piece, if I do that here, I can remove his eye. Like, we can just make every part of this eye invisible. And there you go. That's a way to turn parts off. Originally, I used to do, like, visibility shortcut keys. That's how my cutesy furry model is. Um, but I think this this is a lot simpler. Um, but again, the eye starts as, like, a kind of darkish brown color. And I'm like, oh, but I want it to be blue. Um, but just adding blue is only going to make it darker via with a blue tint. So we'll just go to the screen function, and then we'll just raise that value. And you can make them white. You can just blast whatever color in here you want. Um, there we go. Let's do that. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and do it for the other Scalera. Turn that on. Paste, paste. And I like to try and make the line art match all my other colors, but you don't have to. Like, for example, um, I usually have this upper eyelash part here matching. But, I mean, if you really wanted to, you could make it a different color. Like, it all just boils down to your personal preference. Um, this model doesn't have a lot of hidden assets or confusing parts. This model is a lot simpler than the cutesy furry model, um, so you shouldn't run into too many issues. You can change the color of the iris, the iris color here. Let's just do a very bright green. And I'll do it on this side too. Iris color, paste, okay, paste, okay. And as a note, do not under any circumstances, click cancel. Because if you click cancel, you will lose all of the work that you just did and you'll have to redo it all. So if you're in, if you're looking for, you wanna search for a part, click this little search function. I don't know why it's not working for me, so I'm just kind of like clicking around the model. Um, I don't know why that search function's not working, but it isn't. So just, just don't click cancel unless you want to erase everything you've done. Um, let's do the medium marking here. Let's do paste, paste. The darker marking, paste. I don't want to paste the screen color, and then I'm going to do the darkest one. Cool. We're kind of making like a radioactive hamster, aren't we? Let's do the front ear color, paste. Paste. Let's make the ear very bright. Ear front color, paste, paste. And the ear has an ear back color, and it also has an ear gradient color. So we can change those. And let's do the gradient. Let's just make the gradient one like green, neon green. So yeah, you, the goal is to just click around, try and figure out what parts are what, and change things up to your heart's content. Um, and you can do this with every piece. Like, even this part is separate from the arm, which is separate from the liner, which is separate from the hand. You can do it in the mouth. You can even do it on like the upper and lower lip. So like the there's an upper lip line, which is this the actual line art, and then there's a, an upper lip color. That. And if you wanted to, you could, like, give him a little... I need the lower lip color now. Paste. Okay, paste. Okay. It's not super perfect, 
because this area is usually with mouth lip coverings you want it to try and blend in with the surrounding skin area but i mean you can still you know recolor it if you want um so let's pretend this is the version we want click ok don't click cancel click ok but our work still has not been saved yet if you close vtube studio and reopen it, it it might still be these colors but if you push any of the other hotkeys that adjust the art mesh colors you will lose this so what you need to do is you need to go to the shortcuts menu and we're going to create a new shortcut we're going to name this one neon green and i'm going to set it to control plus p you can set it to literally any key i wrote down what keys all these are set to by default you can set them to any other keys you, you are very welcome to change the model to fit your setup and hot, hot key action this action is art mesh related so we want to save the art mesh color preset which is all the stuff we did and we want to record the current settings and i'm going to set the first key control the second key p that way like if i just press p nothing happens if i just press control nothing happens i have to push them together and then that color turns off and then i push it again it'll turn back on um, the model by default has several other colors that I've just kind of put in as examples. Control 1 is like a gold color. Control 2 is a pink one. Control 3 is like primary colors to kind of highlight the fact that you can change the line art and really make this model match your like stream aesthetic. Um, and for the next tutorial, I'll show you how to do things like scenes and attaching accessories, etc., etc.